This is my cat, Avalanche. Today we are gonna perform some tests on her. Hey, Avalanche. Hey, come back. Don't you wanna chew on this, like, swab more? The consumer DNA testing market is exploding as people ship off gallons and gallons of spit to companies like 23andMe, but human DNA testing isn't the only trend catching fire. People are also starting to DNA test their pets. I have two different tests here to sequence your cat's genetics and you can find out information about their breed that way and also some information about their health. I've got swabs. Blanche. Look it all up. This is really fun. Uh, we're gonna collect some poop and they sequence the bacteria that live in your cat's gut um, via the poop and then they tell you things about your cat's health. We've got here a little plastic baggie of cat shit. Very nice. And they want me to take the cat poop and like scoop out a sunflower sized bit of that poop. How big is a sunflower seed? Like that big? Lovely. Some owners use the DNA health results to figure out whether their dog is at risk for disorders like early blindness or bladder stones. So, this is Bagel. Uh, we met when she was two months old. They told me she was a Dalmatian mix, but she is Foxer and Staffordshire Terrier. No, I don't want There was 160 diseases that they tested for and she's clear out of 156 of those. I was worried about that she might go blind because she has one eye that's really light. She's a carrier for that, but she's not gonna get sick from it, which is really good. Health is one thing, but just like DNA testing for people, most pet owners just wanna know the ancestry of their pet. Julia Knight got her dog from a rescue pound. His results came back, 50% German Shepherd, 50% Husky. I think where it helps is in knowing some of the typical characteristics of each breed. For example, German Shepherds are very obedient. Huskies apparently really like to escape. So it made us realize we need to make sure all our gates are always closed. For dogs, these tests are actually far more accurate than they are for humans. That's because dog breeds are a human convention. What makes a Swede a Swede is up for debate, but what makes a German Shepherd was determined by people. Health, though, is part of it, too. I subjected my cat to two DNA tests and a microbiome test. According to one test, Avalanche isn't at risk for any known genetic diseases. Also, and somewhat confusingly, she is genetically black. At the end of the day, is it really worth it to DNA test your pet? To Avalanche, I would guess probably not. Um, woo!